Hello, I'm Darren McGee, and today's topic is looking at transactional analysis. Now, if you like this video, if you find it helpful, please consider subscribing to my channel for future updates on mental health related topics. Now, transactional analysis is a theoretical framework that is used in counseling and therapy. According to Eric Byrne, the human personality is made up of three ego states, known as the parent, the adult, and the child. And these ego states are a system of thoughts, feelings and behaviours from which we interact with each other. And it is the interaction between them that form the foundation of transactional analysis. To summarise, it's I'm okay, you're okay. The transactions refer to the communication and the interactions between people. Transactional analysts are trained to recognise which ego states people are transacting from and to follow those transactions so they can help improve the quality, the effectiveness of those behaviours and that communication. And the aim is to help people to recognise which situations and which kind of people trigger those states. For example, how do people respond when they see an authority figure or how do they react when they see someone who is in a state of need? But looking closer at the three ego states, the parent state consists of memories and experiences of a child. Now in the early stages of a child's life, the child accepts without question the authority of the parent. Don't play with matches, um, do as you're told, eat up your greens. Here, let me show you how. So when triggered, someone can find themselves acting as their parents or other authority figures did when they were younger. Um, so they will either be authoritarian or they will be kind and nurturing. In the child ego state, what we see are all the internal feelings, beliefs and emotions that are linked to the child's early experiences, early development. For example, I don't like it when mum and dad are angry. I feel happy when I'm hugged or what I just saw on television was scary. And it's in the child state, someone can feel shame and guilt for maybe being selfish, for answering back, for being hurtful to someone, or they can act like the rebellious teenager, do whatever they like, no one is the boss of me. It's like acting and feeling like we did when we were younger. And lastly, there's the adult state. Now this is the state where the child develops the capacity to understand situations, to recognize what is different from uh, from the parent state observes and what the child state actually feels. The adult state is where someone can process information and negotiate whether or not to accept it or reject it. For example, mum said I should eat my greens. Now I've been eating a lot of junk food and I've been putting on a lot of weight so perhaps she was right. Or Mum and dad said I shouldn't answer back, but I have a voice, I deserve to be heard, I have a right to disagree. Now these interactions are normal. For example, in the adult state, someone may wish to learn a new skill, so they enroll in a course. When they go into that course, they go into the role of child as they learn new things. The person teaching the course is in the role of parent, sharing their knowledge and their skill. But difficulties can arise when people are interacting from what's known as a crossed interaction. For example, both parties are being parents and when they're being parents, it's like maybe they're both experts at the same thing. Maybe we see a game of one-upmanship. One will continually push against the other until the other goes into the child state. Or perhaps both are in the role of child neither taking responsibility, rebelling against each other, or trying to push the other one into the role of parent. Or sometimes you might have someone in the role of child trying to make the other person more like a child. For example, being in that course, someone could be kicking against everything the lecturer, the teacher is trying to teach them because they're behaving as if they know better. Now in therapy, as much as the therapist is trying to help strengthen the adult ego state, that's not to say that it's better than the other two. None are good or bad, but it's in the adult state that we can problem solve. We can have a realistic appraisal of what's really going on, not just externally, but internally as well. In the adult state, we can think very much in the here and now. We can problem solve, we can accept things, or we can figure out how to change them. And it's building on that awareness 
recognizing how we move from state to state in different situations and in different interactions with each other, recognizing it's not always the other person's behavior. It could be our state of mind that has us perhaps feel intimidated or find it hard to say no or the need to take that authoritative stance. Because in the parent role, someone can feel more capable. In the child role, we may see someone who sees someone else as a parent because we see them as more capable. As I say, neither are necessarily good or bad, but in some situations, it can lead to limiting options, limiting beliefs and behaviours. In the child role, we can feel helpless, innocent, dependent on others to help us somehow. Or again, behave in that rebellious way against authority. Perhaps it sometimes has us feel carefree, not worry too much about the consequences. It's in the adult state we may recognize more powerful personalities, see someone as more accomplished. However, that doesn't necessarily make them more powerful people. We learn to see someone as needing help or support, but recognizing that is not the same as trying to rescue them. We can learn to say either yes or no in a positive way and give ourselves permission to change our mind if we have to. We, in the adult state, we start to see everyone, including ourselves, as equals. So that's a brief outline of transactional analysis. Now, if you find this video helpful, please consider subscribing to my channel for future updates on mental health related topics. And until next time, thanks for watching.